So I was riding home from work and the wind gusts were about 25 miles per hour as I was riding. So I thought to myself, this would be a good time to cover riding in the wind. So I went home, got my bike and went for a ride. So in this video, I'm going to give you tips for riding in three different types of wind conditions. So hang tight. Hey guys, I'm Paul the Motor Guy and welcome to my channel where I pass on riding tips, practice drills and defensive riding strategies. Now I'm a rider coach, a motorcycle sergeant and owner and instructor at Pro Rider Central Texas. As we all know, riding in windy conditions can be a lot of work depending on how much the wind is blowing. Now the first type of wind condition I want to cover is the headwind. Now for this, there isn't much hand grip pressure needed to keep the motorcycle in line due to the wind hitting you straight on. Now, depending if your motorcycle has fairings or a windshield, your body will take the brunt of the wind. This can cause you to tighten up, which you don't want to do. Now, the second type of wind condition is a side wind. Now, depending on which way the wind is blowing, will determine which hand grip you will press on. So, for example, if the wind is coming from my left and it pushed me to the right, then I'm going to push on the left hand grip to counteract the wind and hold my line. And now if the wind is coming from my right and it's pushed me to the left, then I'm going to push on my right hand grip to hold my line. So in other words, you will push into the wind. Now the amount of pressure needed to hold my line will depend on how strong the wind is blowing. The stronger the wind, the more you need to push on the hand grip to hold the line and counteract the wind. Now the third type of wind condition is a swirling wind, which I think is the worst kind simply because the wind is hitting you from one side and then from the other side. So in this type of wind condition, you will have to push on the right hand grip and then the left hand grip to keep the motorcycle on its line. And now many times there isn't much time between pushing on the right hand grip and the left hand grip. Now let me also say this, you have to relax when riding in the wind. Now the tendency is we tend to tense up because the bike is getting moved around. But what you end up doing is fighting the motorcycle which never ends up working out well. And it will also cause fatigue. Now let's look at this video of me out on my ride. Now during my ride, I'm gonna to try to explain what I'm feeling, doing, and I'm gonna give you some riding tips along the way. So let's head out. So here we are outside. I don't know if you can tell, but the wind gusts are about 25 miles per hour. So right now the wind has pushed me to the right, so I'm pushing on my left hand grip to keep the bike where I want it. If I don't make any input, see how the bike is getting pushed to the right? Now this wind here is a swirling wind, so I'm getting it from both sides. Right now it's coming from my left and it's pushing me to the right. So again, I'm pushing on my left hand grip to hold the bike where it's at. Now I'm going to get on the interstate to try to give you a better demo. Now there's going to be more wind out there because there's not much to block it. Right now I'm making small inputs on my right hand grip and now I'm back straight again. Now I'm making small inputs on my left hand grip, which I know you can't tell. But as I feel the wind pushing me from one side to the other, I'm pushing on the opposite direction. Now in this wind, I'm probably pushing anywhere from soft to medium to hold the bike on this line. Now you see this 18 wheeler coming up on my right? So I know that I'm going to get a little more wind gust as I pass the truck. For one, the wind is already blowing hard and I'm going to get some wind off the truck as well. So you have to prepare yourself whenever you're passing big trucks. Now again, I know you can't tell how much input I'm giving on the hand grips, but right now it's about medium. And I'm actually pushing on left and right because the wind is swirling and pushing me in both directions. Now, another thing you have to think about is that as you're passing cars, they're also getting blown around. So you'll find that a lot of cars will get pushed closer to the white dash line, depending on which way the wind is blowing. So because of that, you need to be prepared for cars to get pushed over into your lane. Now, depending on what type of motorcycle you're riding, can determine how much you are affected by the wind. When I was riding home on the BMW RT1250, I had a harder time keeping the motorcycle on this line. Then when I jumped on my Kawasaki Concourse, although the wind didn't change, I didn't have to fight the bike as much to keep it on this line. Now much of this has to do with the design of the motorcycle. Now I'm not a technical guy at all, so I will leave it at that. Now I hope you got some value from this video, and if so, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now, until next time, practice, 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 and ride safe.